All right, hey guys, we are here at Overland Expo West. We've got Jesse Houston, who is in the booth with us today. He's got his awesome Tacoma. Jesse's from Overland Chef. Jesse, tell us a little bit about what Overland Chef is. So, um, I've been a chef uh, for over 20 years. So um, I've been a chef uh, for over 20 years and um, a restaurant chef and okay. especially with the, uh, the emergence of COVID and everything like that, um, burnout has been, has been a real thing. Yeah. And uh, so during that time, I bought myself an old Forerunner and I thought maybe it'd be a great excuse to go get outside. Yeah. And it turned out to be awesome. Uh, you know, really kind of connecting with my outdoor roots that my dad brought me up in camping as uh -huh. a kid. And uh, so as often as I could break away from a restaurant, which is a very hard thing to do, yeah. I would get outside and I would cook, you know, for me. Um, yeah. And I was able to really reset and reconnect and just sort of refresh and go back into the kitchen with a whole different, you know, look, outlook and just, you know, a lot more peace. Yeah. Um, and so Overland Chef is based around that and just bringing awareness to the fact that you know, especially in the service industry, um, people should really just figure out what helps them sort of recenter themselves. And I think the outdoors is a great way of doing that. Oh, yeah. And so for me, that is getting out there on the trails and finding a great place to camp and cook. So the rig has really been built around getting off grid and setting up uh, camp for camp cooking. Which is so cool. So you have a, a third gen Tacoma. What model year is this? This is 21. 21. Yep. Is it TRD Pro? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a TRD Off-Road. TRD Off-Road. Yep. Okay. I saw you had the Pro Snorkel on there. <laughs> um, you've done a lot of cool stuff and we want to show you guys everything that Jesse's done to his truck. So let's just start with the front end. Kind of give us an overview of, of everything that you've changed and added to yeah. the front end of this truck. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, I, as you will uh, see right off the bat, <laughs> this uh, CBI um, um, covert bumper is the the centerpiece. I get so many compliments on it. It is killer. I love the fact that it's kind of OEM plus. Um, uh, you know, it holds the. I got a Smitty bent, uh, Smitty built uh, 10K synthetic winch in there. Uh, I got stuck in the mud one time, and I decided that was it. And so I went and got a bunch of recovery stuff. Nice. And nice. It, it holds it perfectly. No extra modifications needed for that. Um, and uh, I'm rocking the. Um, Gear America uh, yellow shackles, and which has become I like these, yeah, yeah, it's become really cool. a, a perfect uh, color complement for the the rest of the vehicle. So I've just started a adding yellow accents everywhere. Um, Got your your uh, Raptor lights or whatever you call them. Yeah, there. yeah, that was that was like my first. You have to do that, right? It's yeah. the first thing you got to go is got to go uh, TRD Pro Grill with the Raptor lights. So yeah, uh, I jumped on that band bandwagon first thing. Um, but I got the I got the bull bar. I'm a big fan of bull bars, and uh, yeah, it's just it's 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 perfect. Uh, the fitment is is awesome. The install was super easy. Do you do the install yourself? Yeah, me and my buddy Lucas, uh, we have done 99% of the things on this truck ourselves. The whole thing. It's barely spent time in a shop, just in a driveway. So that's really cool yeah. because um, a lot of people, you know, they get excited about the industry, wow. but. They don't know where to start and they're they're hesitant to jump in you've just jumped right in and <laughs> yeah it made it happen it is uh it so i think been, that's awesome it's you know it's it's taught me a ton uh just about uh, about the truck just to have my hand on every single little bolt and, and yeah. wrench and everything like that so um but uh walking around what about your fog lights here yep. you've got aftermarket fogs right the yep. baja designs baja designs fog lights which are awesome and they pretty much stay on all the time do uh, they I th I'm pretty sure they're street legal, SAE compliant. So um, I just run them. I don't get anybody flashing my lights at them. And honestly, I, they, you don't need brights anymore for the headlights. They're just, yeah. they're awesome. Just run those ambers. Yep, I'm running uh, the same uh, Squadron uh, Sports um, on CBI uh, ditch brackets, which was, which was one of the other first things I ordered. Because uh -huh. um, I swapped as much stuff over from my old 4Runner um, to this taco as I could, and the ditch lights came with it. So I had to get the CBI brackets. Um, Tell me about your your solar panel on the hood. This yeah, thing is awesome. This is from, I want one of these. It's it. I mean, it's crucial. It is so awesome. So this is from Lensun Solar. It's okay. a 75 watt uh, solar panel. Um, it's on there. A lot of people ask how it's mounted. It's just yeah, on yeah, there with some uh, some really hardcore 3M tape. Um, okay. You've got a little vinyl wrap that goes on there to protect your paint, and then you yeah. put that 
that uh, that tape down and it holds it super securely. I haven't had any uh, you know vibration or movement of it or anything like that. And it um, it goes directly into um, my battery. And I've got a, a Group 31 in here. It's the X2 Power. Oh and, yeah, right here. Yeah, you, you've got your Group 31. <laughs> and uh, I've got that in there with the CBI battery tray. Looks and so good. Um, looks really good. I've tried to keep it as clean as possible, uh, but uh, you know when you start adding everything in here and winches and and lights, it's uh, a little crazy. But the the solar oh, panel good. keeps this battery topped off because at all times, like 24/7, I'm rocking a fridge back there. Um, okay. Uh, I actually have two fridges going. Uh, since I do so much with food, uh, yeah. you know, cooling storage is, is pretty important to me. So, yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Clean engine bay. You must have detailed this baby before you came out. <laughs> no, uh, a little bit, not too much. Looks good. So well, let's go um, around the side here and, and uh, show us a little bit. Let's talk wheels and tires, suspension, mm -hmm. what you have going on there. Uh, so for wheels and tires, I've got the 1552 uh, Turbo Mac HDs. Uh -huh. um, I really love these uh, those these cool. wheels. Um, I've got those wrapped in Open Country AT3s. Um, uh -huh. These are really only like 32s. Um, I wanted something that was you know I could get off road with, but you know most people don't realize this. I mean, actually, most people probably do. 99% of your overlanding experience is getting on a highway yeah. to get to where you're going. So yeah. uh, these are crazy comfortable, crazy quiet. Yeah. Um, and you know, the gas mileage is great, uh, but you know, I'm probably going to get a little more aggressive, aggressive soon. So, cool. um, uh, on for suspension, yeah. I have the old man emu BP 51, uh, with the bypass, sh uh, shocks and, uh, remote reservoirs. Uh -huh. And oh my gosh, it's only a two inch lift. So it's not, you know, <laughs> a crazy, uh, big truck, but. It's so it's smoother than stock. I put that thing on, and I just feel like I'm floating. I hear they're awesome. I've heard nothing but great feedback it on is the, great. the BP 51s. Yeah. So, and you um, have their upper control arms too. I noticed, which yep, is awesome. Upper control arms. Um, so yeah, haven't had. I mean, it's just been it's been super smooth. Cool. Um, TRD Pro snorkel. Yeah. When I ordered the truck, um, I, uh, I I said, hey, will you throw that snorkel on there and the uh, TRD Pro skid plate? Um, so they did that for me. Now, one thing that was a little bit uh, interesting with this is that TRD never designed this. Toyota never designed this to be uh, installed at the dealer. This is oh. a this is a, a factory installed only option, uh -huh. uh, and they make a fender with a cutout specifically for it. So Toyota had to go in there and and cut the fender cut to it install themselves. it. It's a little off, but is it? Yeah, yeah it looks good. But it yeah, uh, it, it does it does bolt directly to the uh, the Princey rack. Uh, with it's a special edition made specifically for the snorkel, so that's a uh, another one of the thing, first things I ordered with the the battery tray and the uh, ditch uh, brackets was this Princey rack, and I had a Princey rack with my Forerunner, uh -huh. and I mean I put everything up there, so all of my accessories and everything just went straight up here, and. Uh, they, they rock. Now you've got a lot of stuff on your Princey rack. Yeah. So tell us, tell us what everything is, what you use your box for. Mm -hmm. You know, you got this cool solar shower tube looking thing. What yeah. is that? So that is a, <clears throat> it's an eight gallon uh, water tank. Um, it's a solar shower, so it's gonna heat up the water uh, in there for, you know, for showering off, hosing off, things like that. But um, what it's getting mated to is a, um, a hot water heater that didn't unfortunately have enough time to get installed for this trip. Okay. Um, so that uh, in my kitchen in the back, I can run hot water all the time uh, for washing hands. One of the things I really wanted to make sure that I could do with this rig uh, for overland cooking is when I go to expos or food and wine shows, I've been doing food and wine events you know, forever as a chef. Yeah was to take what I learned there, and there's a, oftentimes there's a lot of health inspectors that go around and, and check these these vendors and booths out to make sure that they're compliant and because they're serving tons of people. Yeah. And so I want to be able to, to do the same thing, but in the truck. So hot water heater is going to be an important element. Oh, that'll be nice. That. Yeah, so I can wash my hands and all that kind of stuff all the time and make sure that'll everything's be so good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it holds eight gallons of water. Um, and uh, up there, I've got an extreme LEDs light bar. Um, so I've, it's the dual function, so I can run the ambers uh, or the, uh, the the clear or both at the same time. That's awesome. I love it. Um, and then I've got a high lift jack on the Prinsu mounts up front. Um, a Rome box with their new rugged mounts. And the Rome box is I love it, those man, mounts. I can't I can't live without that box. Uh, before the new tent <clears throat> went on, I had it running horizontal, um, and I just love getting up there and getting access to my stuff. Just climb up in the you know in the uh, in the door and access all that stuff. It is. 
So what do you put in that box? Because that's the taller one. So yep. you've got a lot of capacity in there. Right. I've got um, in there, I've got uh, recovery gear um, uh, and I've got uh, lighting for just being at the campsite, a bunch of LED lighting. Okay. Uh, and um, right now it's got my, my cleaning supplies since nice. I want to leave show ready. And, yeah, you got uh, this thing all polished yeah. up nice, a man. Lot of, a lot of little odds and ends in there, but it, I mean, it, it just keeps taking things in. It's, yeah. it's just huge. So um, I love it. Uh, we got the Ridgeline handles uh, with the Baja rock lights. And oh, yeah, that, is, right here. that is one of the, the best upgrades. Uh, I mean, I use those handles all the time just to climb up on that rack and get to things. And then the mm -hmm. lighting all the way around is, is incredible. It's, they're really high, up, high, up, high output. And you find that pretty useful because I've, I've found in my experience with camping that these lights, I mean, they're not a big light, but yeah. they provide plenty of light to the perimeter of the vehicle and the height and the angle is like perfect. It that's, is. That's my opinion yeah, on it, but yeah. what's no, your the, experience? The angle is 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 key. Uh, it really just shines down on everything. And so uh, even last night when I was sorting my gear, uh, things to bring, uh, we just kind of laid it all out in the lights and just were able to kind of see nice. everything. So yeah. That's cool. They're that's perfect. cool. Well, let's move around to the, the bed of the truck. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got a lot going on yes. here, even more in the back, which yeah. we'll get to, but let's start here on the side. So uh, sort of the heart <laughs> of, of the bed is the CBI bed rack. Um, and I went with the rack height version so I could get as much space as possible uh, and utilization out of my bed. Um, because I'm, I'm always packing not just the cooler and the kitchen, which you'll see, um, but I've got storage tubs full of, you know, uh, groceries, uh, mm -hmm. cooking utensils, things like that. Um, I'm, it's very important that I always bring around tables. I think camp tables are probably one of the most important things you can pack. Yeah. And uh, they don't get a lot of love, yeah. unfortunately. And so uh, I think that's a, a good hole in the market. Someone just needs to come up with, you know, some really baller tables with uh, storage options. Uh, so I've kind of created my own. Okay. And the CBI uh, bed rack has allowed me to, to, to do that pretty easily because of all the uh, different mounting options. Um, yeah. But up there, I've got the new Rome um, tent, the uh, uh, Rambler. Yeah. Um, just pops straight up. The thing I love the most about this tent, which I didn't realize uh, that I would love so much, is that it essentially doubles as another Rome box, a seven foot long Rome box. And so up there is like all of my bedding, um, all of my, you know, toiletries, yeah. uh, anything that I would want for my personal use in camping is all up there. Uh, my suitcase with all of my clothing for. Uh, yeah. This month trip I've got yeah. uh, is is all up there, so that's awesome space. Which that's funny you mentioned that because we just got back from Death Valley and yeah. some of our guys were saying that exact same thing. We were trying to pack in some of the other tents, our sleeping yeah. bags and pads and pillows and you know some of that stuff, and and there just wasn't enough room. But right. uh, the few guys that were staying in in the Rome Rambler tent, they're like, oh yeah, <laughs> we got it all in there, no big deal. Yeah, man, that, and that freed up so much space because uh, I guess we'll open this up. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm rocking a uh, secondary fridge as well. I've got two of the ARB That's elements, cool. um, and these things are awesome. This one right here is actually uh, plugged up to a Goal Zero battery box, and uh, it's got all of uh, the, the tamales I spent days making for uh, the demo later today uh, in there, and you know, cold brew coffee, can't live without that. Sorry. This, this truck is like a Swiss army knife, I mean, <laughs> you, keep, you keep popping out these little secrets and opening yeah. up doors. and. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, you know, restaurants, uh, you know, you only have so much space in a restaurant. Right. And, and for the most part, people design them to, you know, the majority of it's going to be your seating for your customers. So that's how you make your money. Yeah. And rent is through the roof and everything. So in the, the back of the house, in the kitchen, you've really got to maximize every little inch of that uh, to, oh, to be yeah. able to hold and store all of your everything, food and, and, and utensils and gear and all that stuff. Yeah. So I've kind of taken that mentality to, to this build. That skill set is transferred right over to your truck, yeah. which is pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, Max Tracks, once again, I, once, I got stuck one time, uh, never wanted that to happen again. And so uh, I made sure I splurged on the real deal and uh, you know the winch at the same time. Um, this is actually mounted to the CBI bed rack with the Prinsu Max Trax mount. Nice. Because nice. I had it on my roof, but once I started piling all that stuff, I just moved it right there and it, it fit perfectly. So that was awesome. That's um, way cool. I love Max Trax. Those are probably, when we go out in the winter, we use our Max Trax more than anything. Yeah. Even then our, more than our winches and they just, they work really well. Yeah. They're so awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so 
I got the uh, Goal Zero uh, solar panel that's powering the battery, which is powering the fridge, so that I never run out of power for the, for yeah. the in, inside battery or for the inside fridge. The one in my bed is hooked directly to the battery, which okay. is hooked to the solar panel, the solar on, panel the, on, on the, on the hood. hood. Yeah. Okay. So that always, awesome. always got the power I need. Um, Love the graphics too. Is yeah, that cool? my, the my buddy, color uh, match. My buddy Bradley, uh, Lambert awesome. Ocean Design, he's been doing all my graphics for me. I took it over to a local place, like literally last second. I'm sure you guys have been there, last oh, second yeah. stuff for, oh, yeah. for these shows. And they were kind enough to like kind of stop what they were doing, uh, throw the graphics on there so I could come out here and you know look cool like everybody else. But, uh, sweet. but I love it. Uh, um, cast iron is my favorite thing to, to work with. Open fire for sure. Um, but we can't have the open fire today, so I've got lots of things for that. Um, so let's go. Let's go around back yep. to your uh, like full on kitchen setup. Yeah, here. let me uh, kind of give you guys a little demo. Yeah, give us the demo and um, the tour here. This thing, I'm not going to be able to slide it in all the way because I've got some stuff in that spot. But basically, okay. this slides out all the way out of the bed, and then this opens up again, and then you've got this plenty. Is so cool. You got tons of storage. Uh, here for for everything. You wouldn't believe the Holy amount of stuff cow. I've got in here. I'll show you these panels in a minute. And it all slides. Yeah. Everything here just slides, right? Yeah. Here, do you want me ah, to push that yes. from that side? Oh, you got it. Sorry, I've got everything kind of like bungees and so it's all kind of moving. Um, sorry, my propane tank got cut. I was on a bungee cord, so it's moving instead of locking. But all good. Um, so yeah, this, this, I can't believe how much I've been able to get in here. I didn't it's think, nuts. but this has got, if I pulled it all out, I'm, I'm looking at this truck and I'm like, this has got to be a long bed, but it's a short bed. It's a short bed. <laughs> and you've got all of this. So, you know, I've got Dutch ovens and there's like three uh, oh cast iron skillets in here. Um, <laughs> you know, my big boy Dutch oven in here. So, I mean, like, and there's tons more in there, more skillets and everything. Oh my heck. Uh, I've got some little sheet pans in there. And what do you... What do you got hooked up right there? Oh, you yeah. got a little drill battery? So yeah, this is, the whole kitchen is, is cool. powered. It's got lights, uh, a, a pump, a water pump, and everything. Oh yeah, it's all lights right here, right? Yeah. Is that a light? No, that's no, a cutting that, board. That's a cutting board that pulls out. Oh, you guys gotta see light this. Light strips on out here. Oh, that's the light strip. On the inside of both of the boxes, so you can see everything. Light Holy strips. Holy cow. Yeah, light strips on the side, and light strips underneath as well. We gotta see this thing at night, yeah. man. It's gonna be sick. That is cool. So, um, who makes this? This is Pool Kitchen. Okay. Uh, Pool Kitchen is based in, in California. And uh, wow. man, I was- I'm impressed. With my old Forerunner, I was constantly messaging, messaging them on Instagram because I wanted one so bad. But um, I was gonna have to do like a seat delete to put it in the Forerunner. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so the second I picked up this Tacoma, I was like, we have to make this thing happen now. Yeah. But also, I need you to drop everything and make a custom one because, you know, I'm, I am who I am, I'm a little bit extra. So this is the first one ever that they've done uh, uh, the black aluminum extrusions on. I love it. And then they wrapped it in the olive drab to match the truck. Oh, that and is so cool. With the yellow, cool. yellow accents, so it is awesome. It's got a, a Dometic um, sink <clears throat> and stove on it. So I've got two burners here. And um, like sink I said, I've got, got uh, running water. And so the water is actually hooked up That's in the awesome. back to Rotopax. Oh, okay. And if you do have a long bed Tacoma, you can actually put a second Rotopax right there uh, okay. and, and, and switch it out. So I've got extra Rotopax uh, on deck in case I run out. Yeah. Um, but the goal is ultimately as well to have the big water tank hooked up. So they actually uh -huh. added, added in a custom blending valve for me so that the hot water can get hooked up and the cold water so that I can have, wow. I can have both. So this I have eight gallons insane. of hot and you know as many Rotopax worth of cold as I can fit on this truck. I don't think, you know, and I've seen a lot of vehicles that are built out for cooking and have a kitchen set up like this, but I don't think I've seen one that's this exclusive. I mean, you've got everything and it just, I mean, it's perfect from the cutting board to the lighting, the storage, all these tables that kind of fold out, give yeah. you more surface prep area. Yeah, I mean, it's, and, and, it's impressive. And they, they have a saying like you can give a chef a mile of prep space and they'll need a mile and 10 feet. They'll it's use it never all. Never enough, never enough. So. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I built this little custom rack for my table so that I could easily uh, oh, pull this cool. thing out. Lifetime tables that you're running in there. Yeah, super cheap. Uh, and it was, you know, in black, so that was great. Matched um, the setup. Literally just got some angle brackets at Home Depot and drilled them up, to, or just bolted them in and had some straps. 
It worked perfectly. That is so cool. Tell us about your sliding panels yeah. off the inside of the rack. So there. this I'm super excited about. Um, let me go right oh, here. Yeah. Uh, show, me, show me what you got. I went going. to my buddy Chris at White Rhino Fabrication in Mississippi just to actually have him uh, tack weld these Molly panels inside their bed rack. But he's like, I got an idea. And he was geeking out because he's had this idea for a long time and they just slide out on, on rails. So now oh I have God. access to everything on this Molly panel all the way back because with the pool kitchen uh, slid all the way in, you can't get to anything back there with, uh, with yeah. the fridge and everything. It's so tough. like there's a little cubby in the back that has nothing in it and I can't, I can't get to that. So eventually I think I'm gonna put another water tank back there because you got, you can't have enough water when yeah. you're doing what I do. Yeah. So um, probably make that one for potable water. That's sweet. But yeah, so I've got- So you've my, got one on each side then? Yeah. That one there and then this one here, you got some uh, recovery cooking, yeah, action axe shovel gear, all that. Um, but yeah, I've got the propane tank, fire extinguisher. Uh, I'm actually uh, gonna use these to like hang kitchen mm. utensils and things like that on as well. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Really quick, you've got a fair amount of weight back here. What rear springs are you running on this thing? So this is the, the Old Man Emu BP-51 uh, shocks and their heavy duty. Their heavy duty springs. Okay, that's and what honestly, I was figuring, but. Honestly, uh, you know, my goal is to rock a, a CBI bumper in the uh -huh. back, swing out. And uh, he doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna convince him that we're gonna build a grill into the back of it, okay. uh, just for just for this truck. Uh, Sweet. So yeah, because I got I want to have like a, a you know badass either pellet smoker you know or whatever back there, oh, that and would be nice. uh, and to just be you know doing all kinds of, of things at, at, you know wherever I go. And okay. so I'm gonna have to put a good amount of weight even more on there. So I'm gonna have to look at that. It's already kind of you know feeling that pressure with. Do you have? Springs. They make a, an extra add a leaf to I add don't to have their heavy leaf. duty. So you're gonna want the add a yeah. leaf, or you may have to go do a custom leaf pack. Yeah, maybe for so. all this weight. Yeah, that's but awesome. It's, uh, though. <laughs> but it's it, you'd be surprised. I actually did an event uh, like a, a month ago in Mississippi, a food and wine event, and we uh -huh. we served gumbo uh, for uh, over 600 people, and everything oh. for that event to cook the gumbo start to finish. You know, to set up a whole booth and, and display and everything all fit into this truck. Are you serious? Yeah. 600 people? Yeah. So. Holy cow. Yeah. I didn't have the pool kitchen yet, so. Um, oh my but, heck. So we, we actually built an open fire pit there uh, to okay. do it. But yeah, it was it was awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So come around this side, tell me you got another grill going on over here and some more, looks like, Something to keep your stuff warm? Yeah, or? so um, I've got a, a Cambro and we're gonna heat up all, all the tamales that we pre-prepped. And okay. that, that Cambro is gonna keep those tamales nice and hot and in a safe temperature so that we can serve them nice and warm uh, okay. to everybody that stops by the booth later. Awesome. Um, I always have storage tubs packed with, you know, everything, all the goodies. And then, yeah, I've got a Camp Chef. The BTUs on that thing are just, they're insane. Are they? I mean, I don't, the thing doesn't have a low setting. I mean, the lowest is still like boils water in like a minute. It's this insane. thing looks really durable too. It is, yeah, it's awesome. It's super easy to clean, okay. all stainless steel. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put our steamer on there when we make, when we get the tamales ready. Um, yeah, it's, That's a, it's awesome. A, yeah, I've got a, so we've got the secondary fridge back here as well um, on the ARB slide. And uh, I have uh, these amazing, uh, cutting boards from Kong boards uh, and he puts my logo in them. That's he makes cool. a, a camper size too that's like a little bit smaller than that. It's the perfect size for taking because I always have to have like a really rugged, sturdy wooden cutting board everywhere I go. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Do you, where you have two fridges, do you separate what you put in each one? I mean, do you, is there a method to that or does yeah, it just kind of sure. depend on uh, what you're bringing? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've got everything separated. I've got, um, actually this one's full of uh, all the different proteins and meats that I'm gonna cook on the trip. Okay. Uh, right now it's full of wild game. I've got a bunch of, you know, antelope, venison, and uh, wow. wild boar in there. That's uh, awesome. You know, plus some, you know, bacon and country ham and sausages yeah. and things like that for fun. Uh, some duck ham that I made. Nice. Uh, but in the other fridge, it's just loaded with all the tamales. I've kept that one at a freezer uh, setting. Okay. Um, and that's that's really awesome. That's cool. So yeah, it's been having no problem keeping things like super cold. So tell us what you're gonna be making today. You're gonna be doing yeah. a little demonstration here at the booth. Yeah. And what are you cooking? So uh, we're gonna make uh, uh, wild antelope uh, tamales. Um, okay. In the style of uh, birria. Birria tacos are amazing if you've had them. They're really uh -huh. hot right now. 
Um, it's a basically a, they take the it's traditionally made with beef and okay. they braise it down with lots of uh, guajillo chilies and cumin, onions, garlic, and until it's like fall apart. And then you take that, mix it with some of the juices. You take a little bit of the juice, put it on your griddle, throw the tortilla down, get it kind of crispy, put some cheese Man. in there, let it melt the meat. You fold it up, little onion cilantro. So we're Sounds taking that, but we're making a tamale out of it. And so cool. we're gonna braise the antelope. Uh, we're gonna make the masa dough from scratch up here. Wow. And we're gonna uh, stuff it into the corn husks and wrap them up and then steam them. It's actually so, incredibly easy. Really? Yeah. It sounds complicated. Yeah. It sounds like <laughs> super, uh, what's the word? Uh, like high-end restaurant style. Yeah, so you know, I've been, I've done all kinds of restaurants from you know super high-end uh, fine dining to you know, casual and, and now wow. I'm just, I'm enjoying just getting to the, you know, the, the basics of, you know, fire and meat as well. Okay. So that's good. But, and, um, and what about antelope? I've never had antelope. What is, is it good? I mean, oh my gosh. I've it, never had uh, it. It's, it's really good. And, and this stuff that I use comes from Texas. Okay. It's wild in Texas from Broken Arrow Ranch. And they go, they've got the dream job. They go out, um, like in helicopters, they'll go out or like on the ground with high powered, like silenced sniper rifles uh -huh. and just one shot, one kill. And then they field harvest it right there in a little wow. mobile unit on site. So you don't get any sort of tainting in the meat whatsoever. Wow. This stuff is so clean. I mean, the gaminess is almost non-existent. Wow. It's, it's amazing meat. And that's uh, gonna be cool for yeah. people to try. Yeah. That's so, gonna be way gonna be cool. Well, awesome. Uh, on this side, we don't necessarily have to walk down this side, but uh, just give us a few uh, points of the, like the awning yeah. and a few other things that you've got on this side of the truck. So uh, the 23-0 um, awning, it's the two, uh, uh, 270 awning to wrap around, we'll wrap around, so that when I'm doing cooking like this, I can be covered and you know serve uh, in the shade and things like that. Um, and then I've got my, my roto packs up there just for extra water for the pool kitchen and fuel yeah. for the trails. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, and there's been a lot of little tinkering on the interior just to get, you know, power exactly where I want it for different things and, okay. you know, all that kind of stuff. But it's, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Well, that's awesome. It's been a great build. Well, we are super excited to have you here in the booth. Um, this truck is awesome. I mean, there is way more to your truck build than meets the eye for yeah. sure. I mean, there's a lot of hidden gems in here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, Jesse's truck. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Plus we're gonna have the full demo this afternoon. Get to try the antelope uh, tamales, which are gonna be awesome. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't, be sure and follow along. Your your Instagram's Overland Chef. Overland Chef, yep. And you do stuff on YouTube as well, right? Uh, a little bit. We're actually gearing up. Uh, this whole trip is gonna gear up to kind of produce some content to, okay. to put out there. Um, but we will be posting uh, the recipe for the tamales uh, oh, right cool. after the demo. So okay, got that so, all ready so for you. So follow Jesse's Instagram for the the recipe and lots of cool cooking ideas and and basically lots of off road overland adventures with yeah. with great food. Yeah. So okay, man. Well, thanks again. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments, comment below. I'll try to answer them the best I can, but I know Jesse will hop on and help us out and you guys can explore his build even more. Uh, but so far, that's it for now. We're gonna go enjoy uh, Overland Expo West. It's day one and we're ready to have some fun. Yeah, man. So we'll see you guys later.